Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about managing your passwords in Google Chrome. I'm going to be showing you on a desktop version of Google Chrome, Google Chrome for Mac, but it should be almost exactly the same as Google Chrome for Windows. And I'm going to be showing you on Google Chrome for Android, which should be almost exactly the same as Google Chrome for iOS. So. Without further ado, let's get started. Here I am on my desktop and I'm in Google Chrome. To manage my saved passwords in Google Chrome for desktop, I'm just going to go up here to the top right corner and I'm going to click on the three little dots. On a Windows computer, this might be three lines instead of three dots, but it should be in uh, about the same spot. From here, we're going to go into our Google Chrome settings. Once we access our Google Chrome settings, you'll notice that there is a section called autofill. And in that section, we have a link for passwords. So I'm going to click on passwords and this will take me to my password management section of Google Chrome. So you'll notice that right off the bat we have this section up here called saved passwords. This is where all passwords that I have saved in the past will be stored. Now these passwords that we're looking at right now are passwords that are saved in this version of Google Chrome on this computer. These are not the passwords that are saved in my Google account. So here I could click on this link right here, this Google account link to access all the passwords saved in my Google account. The difference is, is that these passwords that, are, that I'm looking at right now are only accessible on this computer, whereas passwords in my Google account are accessible from any Google Chrome browser that I sign into with my Google account. So that's up to you where you'd like to save your passwords, but the, the way that you manage them once they're saved is the same. You'll notice, I will click on this link in a little bit, and you'll notice that it is going to look almost the exact same as what we see on our screen right now. That being said, if you want to do anything with these passwords that are in the list, so I could click on the three little dots and you'll notice that I could remove this password. I could also click on this little I symbol and it would show me the password for this particular website. Now, If I remove it, when I go back to this website and log in, it will ask me if I want to save my password again. So that's great. A lot of you might know how to do that, but what do we do if we are not getting asked to save our password when we access a site and we have to enter it every single time? What you want to do is you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of your Google Chrome password settings. So let's go ahead and do that. You'll notice when I get to the bottom, I have this section called never saved. So when I log into a website, and we get this pop up here, you'll notice that I have the option to never save. If we click never save, it's going to be added down here and we will never be prompted to save our password for that website. So we just have to go in here, say I wanted to be asked if I wanted to save my password for Airbnb, I could simply click the X next to Airbnb. Next time I log in, I would be asked. So that's how you can make it so that Chrome now asks you to save passwords. All right, great, let's move back up to the top and let's click on this Google account link, just so you can see what it looks like. You'll notice that a new tab opens up. This is called Password Manager. This is the synced version of Google's Password Manager. And we have all of these sites in here. So we have Airbnb. If I were to click on Airbnb, we can see that here is my username for that account. I could copy the username to my clipboard if I wanted to, or I could delete this out. If I go to this AirDroid account that I have saved, you'll notice that here's my password. I could click on the I symbol to view it. And again, if we go back and if we actually scroll all the way to the bottom of this page here, you'll notice that there isn't a section of never saved. That's because you can't specify for Google that you want to never save a password to your Google account. That's only for your local machines. So just be aware that if you log into an account on one computer and you click never save the password, you won't be prompted to save that password again on that computer. But if you log into the same account on another computer, you will be prompted to save your password. That is a local setting. The choice that you make to not save your password is not synced across your Google account. It's just set on that local computer. So I think that's an important thing to note. But that being said, let's go ahead and let's move over to Android. So here I am on my Android device and I'm in Google Chrome on my website. To manage my passwords in Android, it's actually almost the same thing, but it just looks a little different. So I did want to show you where that is. I'm going to tap on the three dots in the top right corner of my screen. And from here, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to tap on settings just like we did in the desktop version. Here we are in our settings. You'll notice that we have a link in the middle of our screen for passwords, which I will tap on. 
and now we're in our saved passwords. Again, this works the same way as desktop. So the passwords that I'm looking at right now are passwords that are saved specifically to this device. So this 1-800 contacts, that password is saved on my phone. It may, may or may not be saved on my computer. I would have to access my Google account, which you can see there's a link to do that, and look at my synced passwords on my Google account. However, if I scroll down to the very bottom of this screen on Android, you'll notice that I also have a section for never saved. So right now, android.instagram.com, I'm never saving my password, which means when I log in, it's not going to ask me to save it. If I were to tap on android.instagram.com, and then tap on the trash can, it would delete it so that now when I go and I log in to android.instagram.com, it will ask me to save my password. So this is how you can view and how you can delete passwords on Google Chrome for both desktop and mobile devices. When it comes to saving passwords on Google Chrome, you just have to rely on that pop-up. But if you are not getting that pop-up, I've shown you how you can go in and delete a website from the never saved section of your password manager so that it will then ask you the next time you log in if you'd like to save your password. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you wanna see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.